the vehicle traveled several hundred feet from the center uh, center divider at the intersection and rested on the on the west side of the road in the brush, sustained major damage to the vehicle. You've seen all the images of that. And um, with that, our Lomita Sheriff Station will be conducting the traffic investigation. And it'll take from days to several weeks to get the whole thing together. Once the, in, the investigation is completed, we will provide a, a, a detailed uh, report. It'll be available, you know, based on Public Record Act request, and we will not discuss it any further after that point. But at this point, I want to introduce uh, Chief Darrell Osby, LA County Fire Department. Good afternoon. I'm Fire Chief Darrell Osby of the Los Angeles County Fire Department. At approximately 7.22 this morning, resources from Los Angeles County Fire Station 106 received a report of a solo vehicle accident at the intersection of Hawthorne Boulevard and Paulus Verdes Drive North in Rolling Hills Estates. Upon arrival of the scene of the incident with sheriffs unseen, uh, resources and personnel from the Los Angeles County Fire Department observed a single rollover vehicle incident with one person trapped. The person trapped uh, uh, was extricated by the Los Angeles County Fire Department personnel. Earlier, it was stated that the jaws of life was utilized to extricate the person trapped. It was later determined by our personnel that a hologan tube, which is used for prying, and an ax was also used to pry the person free from the vehicle. The person was packaged at the incident in stable condition with serious injuries, and because of the fact that they needed to be extricated, they were transported to Harbor UCLA Hospital because of the extrication and Harbor Hospital is also a trauma center. He was not airlifted. Um, there were no other life, uh, life uh, endangering uh, injuries to my knowledge. Well, at the time it made, it crossed the center divider to the point that it rested was several, several hundred feet away. So obviously that indicates they were going at a relatively a greater uh, speed than, than normal. However, because it is downhill, it slopes, and it also the, the curves that area has a high frequency of, of accidents. This is not uncommon. Any skid marks or anything that you tried to break or stop? No, no skid marks, no breaking. So apparently the first contact was with the center median and from there then cross into the opposing lane of traffic, hit the curb, hit a tree, and there was several uh, rollovers during that process. They haven't given you any kind of a preliminary indication in excess of 45, 50, 50 miles an hour. That uh, they're going to have to figure that one out. Uh, that's why the traffic investors make the, the big bucks that they make. Uh, we've reached out. We've been in touch with it, with his manager, and they don't want to release anything on his condition right now. We hear that he's out of surgery and perhaps been moved to his own room, Sheriff. All we know that a serious condition as a result of the accident, and that's about all they want to say. You looking at weather as a factor in this accident, Sheriff Villanueva? Weather is not a factor. Well, we're looking at uh, signs of uh, influ under the influence of either narcotics, medication, alcohol, odor of alcohol, all these different things that would give you an, an idea in their behavior, but there was none, none present.